Hey Kindergarten, so today we are going to color in our Frida Kahlo inspired artwork. If you have not finished drawing and tracing with Big Black Crayon your self-portrait, you need to finish that before you can color. But once you have finished um, drawing and tracing it, you can start coloring. I recommend using crayons to color this in. I really think that it is going to give it a better look, but if all you have is oil pastels, that's fine. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is find a color that works for your skin and for your hair. And for some of you, that might be multiple colors. Like, I think that this color works pretty well with my skin compared to some other colors that I have. So I'm gonna hang on to that one. And for my hair, I feel like my hair can have multiple browns. So I'm gonna use this brown and I'm gonna use, hmm. Oh, that looks the same. I think I'm gonna use some black. Oh, I like this coppery color. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna find some browns that really seem like they're gonna work for my hair color. Oh, that might be a good one for parts of my skin too. And I'm gonna set those aside. Now, for people that are in person, um, I do have some multicultural crayons, which are just a box full of skin color crayons. And these are things that you can buy at the store so if you're at home you might have these two ask your parents maybe you have some a box of skin color crayons they might be called crayons of the world now i think they actually changed the name of them but anyway um so people that are in person can dig through here but if you have a good collection of crayons at home you should probably be able to find a color that works for your skin tone so i'm gonna take my skin tone color that i found and i'm going to just tear a little bit off so that i can get started on coloring and just like when we were learning how to color um, earlier in the year, remember, you only want to move your wrist. You want to hold it in your hand. You don't want to make really big, wild um, gestures with your hand while you're coloring. You just want to color it in smoothly. You don't want any white spaces. You want to make sure that you cover everything. You don't want to go crazy. You want to stay in the lines as much as you can. So you're going to color in your skin and you may want to add places that have different uh, skin tones. Like I know around my eyes, my skin is just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take this slightly darker skin tone and I'm gonna add some around my eyes. You might have rosy cheeks. So if you are a rosy cheeked person, you might wanna get like a pink to add some rosiness in your cheeks. These are all things that can help make your skin tone look really, really nice. And then I'm gonna move on to my hair, so we're just gonna pretend like I finished coloring in all of, my, um, all of my skin, and I'm gonna move on to my hair. And for your hair, you wanna do the same thing, but you want to color in the direction that your hair would be moving. It wouldn't make sense for me to color it like this, because then it wouldn't look like hair. So I'm gonna color in the direction that my hair is moving, and you can see that this is pretty light brown, but my hair is a pretty dark brown. So that's why I got multiple colors so that I could add in a lot of different colors into my hair and really kind of create this hair color that works well for me. So I'm creating like a mixture of brown and black to kind of get close to my hair color. And you wanna do the same thing for your eyebrows. Some people have eyebrows that are different colors than their hair. Like there are a lot of very light blonde people who have, um, who have brown eyebrows. So really look at yourself in the mirror, see what color your eyebrows are before you color them in. I'm gonna do my eyes. This actually is a pretty close color to my eye color. So I'm gonna color in my eyes, just the iris, not the whites of my eyes because those need to stay white, hence their name. And then we're gonna pretend like I've colored in all of my skin and all of my hair. And I'm gonna move on to my mask because I chose to draw a mask. You maybe didn't choose to draw a mask and that's okay. I'm going to move on to my shirt and my background. And remember these are inspired by Frida Kahlo and Frida Kahlo liked to use lots of really bright colorful um, colors in her pictures. So I'm going to use lots of colors. I'm going to get some purple and some blue and let's see maybe some green and I'm going to color in my oh no I'm going to use orange. All right, and I'm gonna color in my shirt with purple because that's my favorite color. And remember, nice and smooth, you don't wanna go crazy. And I'm gonna color in my mask with blue. And I'm gonna get 
my flowers done in orange. And I'm gonna have to find some more colors to use because I don't wanna repeat the same color in too many places. So um, I'm gonna finish coloring this in. You guys can finish coloring it in. It is possible you might not finish coloring today. And if that's the case, that is totally fine. You can finish coloring it next class too. The important thing is, is that you're taking your time, you're making it look really nice so that you can um, move on to the next step next time, which is gonna involve some painting. So I hope you guys are ready to get started.